How's it going, Eliminators? Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the four main shear pins that MTD uses in both their two and three stage snowblowers and why which ones you're supposed to use now isn't as clear cut as it should be. So I'm making this video today to set the record straight. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So in the shop today, we are going to be looking at three different branded machines. We have a Troy built, a Columbia, and a Craftsman snowblower in front of us. They are each different in their own way. However, they do share one common thing, and that is that they are all manufactured by MTD. Starting on the left, we have a Troy built 24 inch two stage snowblower. In the center, we have a Columbia model 330 HD. So this is going to be a 30 inch three stage snowblower. And then over here on the right, we have a Craftsman 24 inch three stage snowblower. Now for any of you that are familiar with my channel, you'll know that I have a box here full of shear pins for various different snowblowers. I'm just gonna take you through briefly so you can become familiarized with the shear pins we're gonna be talking about because which one you use in which snowblower might actually surprise some of you. So starting off with MTD's two stage snowblowers, you're gonna have two main shear pins that you're gonna see in their equipment from various different brands. And that is going to be a 738-04124A. And these shear pins are going to come in different colors. You could have gold ones or you could have silver ones. Neither of these shear pins have a marking on the head of them. They just have that spiral cut on them. And both of them measure a quarter inch diameter by one and a half inches long. These are the most common shear pins that are going to be used in two-stage MTD snowblowers with a three-quarter inch diameter auger shaft. So coming over to the two-stage Troy Built snowblower over here, again, if you're not familiar with what that is, this is the first stage and that is the second stage impeller. And for this particular machine, you are going to be using either of the gold or silver two-stage 738-04124A shear pins and the auger shaft, which is right here on these smaller snowblowers, are going to measure three quarters of an inch in diameter. Now moving on from the quarter by inch and a half shear pin, we're going to be looking at the quarter by 1.75 inch. So this is inch and three quarter length. It's a little bit longer than these shear pins over there. Part number for that one is going to be a 738-04155. Now, with any of these MTD shear pins, you can put a dash 50 on the end. I buy them in bulk to save a little bit of money. Now, this particular shear pin has the same quarter inch diameter. However, it is one and three quarters of an inch long, and that is going to fit two stage snowblowers that have a one inch auger shaft. So let's say you had a two stage snowblower in a much larger auger housing. You may have a larger diameter gear shaft in that snowblower, which is going to require you using the longer shear pin. Now, up until this point, everything is pretty much straightforward. Moving on, things are gonna get a little more confusing because on the left here, we now have the two different three stage shear pins that MTD is using. So I'll briefly take you through those. So the two different three-stage shear pins that MTD is using now is going to be a 738-05273 and a 738-06654. These two shear pins are very different, and as you can see, I've written down here, this shear pin up here is going to be used on the outer auger fins, commonly referred to as the first stage, and this shear pin here is going to be used on the inner auger fin, commonly referred to as the third stage accelerator. And once again, to familiarize yourself with these shear pins, the 05273 outer shear pin is going to have a number three stamped into the head. And this specific shear pin is silver in color. However, the new ones are going to be anodized black to make it easier to distinguish between all of the other shear pins that MTD uses. And finally, moving on to the 738-06654 shear pin, you guys are gonna notice right away that this has a hex head on it. It almost looks like a bolt head, and it has the letter A stamped into it. So at this time, you might be thinking that everything seems straightforward. You're going to be using the two-stage shear pins in a two-stage snowblower, and you're going to be using the three-stage shear pins in the three-stage snowblowers. But that is not the case, and that is exactly why I'm making this video. Now, as you've probably seen in my other videos, I always recommend coming to the backside of the snowblowers so that you can look for the sticker with the model number on it. These stickers here are very important because they're going to list not only the model number of your snowblower, but also the serial number. 
On some models, you may also notice a DOM label in the center, which is going to be the date of manufacturing. As you can see here on this Craftsman that was built in 2020, that's going to be important. But if you don't have that particular code on your snowblower, you can always look at the fifth number on your serial number. That number is going to be the last number of the year that it was made, in this case, the year 2020. In today's video, we're going to be focusing more on this Columbia because this is a pretty weird one. So I am going to record the model and serial number here on this snowblower. And we can see the fifth digit in this serial number here is going to be a seven. Now that could either mean a 2007 or a 2017. And if you don't have that date of manufacturing printed onto this sticker, you can always look at the safety standard number up above. So for example, if this snowblower was manufactured in 2007, there's no way that it could adhere to to the 2014 safety standards because they wouldn't exist yet. So this particular Columbia snowblower was manufactured in 2017. Now having the model number is going to be great because you can use that to get an owner's manual and also an illustrated parts listing for that model of snowblower. However, the serial number is just as important, if not more important, because it will allow you to get the necessary documents you need for your specific variation of snowblower. For example, we know that this Columbia snowblower was manufactured in 2017. However, it could have been designed in 2014 and put into production in 2015. So two years later, after production began, there could have been some changes made to certain parts. So what you can do is go to Google and type in MTD manuals. There you'll find a link to MTD's official website where you can enter your model and serial number. So if we're looking at this particular Columbia snowblower, I will enter both the model and the serial number, and then it will give me a whole bunch of manuals down below. Now up on screen, you're going to see the illustrated parts listing. That's going to give us a breakdown of every component that this snowblower has. So going back to why I'm making this video, well, you would think that you would never use these two-stage snowblower shear pins in a three-stage snowblower. However, I found that was not the case. So before we get to the illustrated parts listing, we're gonna start off in the owner's manual because that's probably what most of you will have in a physical paper copy that you get when you purchase your equipment. Now under the replacing shear pins section, you guys are gonna notice that on this particular Columbia snowblower, obviously the diagram shows it's a three-stage snowblower. However, what we're going to be looking at specifically is the disclaimer down below. You're gonna notice that it says on this particular snowblower, you are only supposed to use the 738-04124A shear pin. And it even goes on to note that if you do not use that shear pin, it may void your warranty if there's any damage to the gearbox or any other component of the snowblower. Now at first that didn't make any sense to me because we've already established that the 04124A shear pin is supposed to be used on a two-stage snowblower, not a three-stage snowblower. So what I did next was I went to the revised illustrated parts listing and I pulled up the auger housing diagram. Now I've highlighted each of the shear pins that this snowblower takes in the first and third stage and you're gonna notice something common. They're all listed as a number seven shear pin. So moving over to the itemized parts list and you guys are gonna notice sure enough, this three stage snowblower takes a 738-04124A two stage shear pin. Now, while it is true that this snowblower did come with two-stage shear pins installed in it, those are not actually the shear pins that you're supposed to use now. And that's because there's been a revision made. So we know that this particular Columbia snowblower was manufactured in 2017, and we pulled up both the owner's manual and the illustrated parts listing, and they all show that you're supposed to use the two-stage shear pin. However, in about August or September of 2017, MTD issued a service advisory for their 42-inch snowblower attachment for Cub Cadets XT1, XT2, and I believe XT3 riding lawnmowers. Essentially what happened was they had a whole bunch of new equipment coming back because the shear pins were failing prematurely. An operator didn't even have to get into chunks of ice or anything else, just deep, heavy packed snow and those shear pins were shearing. So in late August, early September, MTD issued a service advisory replacing the two stage shear pins with a shear pin that was a bit stronger and those are the ones with the number three marked on the head. 
Now this is where things start to get a little interesting. Unlike the newer Craftsman that has a different shear pin for the outer and the inner auger fins, the Columbia here is supposed to take the number three headed shear pin in both the first stage auger and the third stage accelerator. And up on screen, I'll just be displaying the information provided to me in my MTD parts portal. I have access to that information because I'm a dealer. Now, when this snowblower first came in, I did notice that some of the shear pins on the left side here did have the number three on the head. So those are proper. However, some of the shear pins that were installed were the old school two stage 04124A shear pins. And we don't wanna be using them because they are going to be weaker. We're gonna be talking about the grades of each of these shear pins in a moment. Basically what happened was a few of them were the two stage ones and a few of them were the three stage ones. So I pulled out all of the two stage ones and replaced any broken ones with the proper 05273 shear pin with the number three on the head. And as my parts portal IPL showed, I did that for both the first stage auger fins as well as the third stage central accelerators there. And as you've seen me do in the past, I also installed a couple spares up on the console here. These are now the proper 05273 shear pins with the number three on the head. I like to install these upside down so that the pin is a little easier to see when you remove it we were able to establish which shear pins the two-stage and the much larger three-stage snowblower takes. But what about this smaller 24-inch Craftsman three-stage snowblower that's manufactured in 2020? Well, that's where these shear pins come into play. So again, on our listing there, there's going to be an inner and an outer shear pin that are used on these newer three-stage snowblowers. So I'll just walk you through that briefly. So if we search the model and serial number for that Craftsman and we pull up the owner's manual on the left, again, under the replacing the shear pins section, you're going to notice the diagram which clearly indicates that there is going to be two separate shear pins for this machine. The 05273 shear pin, which used to be silver in color but is now anodized black in color, again, that's the shear pin with the number three stamped on the head, is only to be used on the outer first stage impellers, while the 06654 hex head shear pin with the letter A stamped on the head is only to be used on the third stage accelerator auger fins. Now, as far as I know, from the research that I've done looking through my parts portal and talking to my representative at MTD, out of the four main shear pins that MTD uses in their two and three stage snowblowers, there's going to be three different grades of shear pin. Now, the grade of a bolt refers to its maximum tensile strength, essentially its breaking point. However, where an actual bolt would have clamping force, where the bolt would usually shear upwards, the head would break off of it or somewhere on the actual stud where the threads are itself, a shear pin or a shear bolt is meant to shear sideways. Now where MTD wants these shear pins to break away can all be determined by the area in which they put that little groove. That is where the bolt or the shear pin is going to be at its weakest. And again, it is designed to shear at that specific point. For the two-stage snowblowers or the three-stage snowblowers that were designed to use the two-stage shear pin, those are going to be what are known as a GR2, commonly referred to as a grade two shear pin. As for the newer 06654 shear pin for the central accelerators, those are going to be a GR8, commonly referred to as a grade eight shear pin. Those are super strong. However, out of all the research that I did, I could not find anything specific that gave me a grade strength on this 05273 shear pin that has the number three stamped on the head. However, in my parts portal, it does not show that I can use this newer shear pin, the grade eight version, as a central accelerator shear pin in some of the older equipment. So to recap, if these are both a grade two, and this shear pin over here that they're using now is a grade eight, and they had to upgrade from the grade two to something a little stronger, we can only assume that this has to be a grade five shear pin. Now, normally on a bolt head, that's a grade five bolt, you will see three little markings. And if you have a grade eight bolt, you will see six markings. And one thing that I found interesting was when looking at the hex head on this bolt, it has six points on it. Now, if we go over to this shear pin, again, this is the shear pin with the number three on the head. Three plus two can give you a five. 
That could be a grade five shear pin. So it's a little bit stronger than the grade two shear pin, but it is still weaker than the newer grade eight shear pin. So again, the reason why I'm making this video is which shear pin you're supposed to use may not be as clear as you think. So I wanted to make this video for the average homeowner that might be going into a big box store like Lowe's or Home Depot, telling the salesperson that they have a three-stage snowblower and picking up a set of shear pins that are going to be incorrect. So back on the workbench here, I told you guys that I have a date code list so that you guys will know exactly which shear pin to use in what machine. So I'll be going through the dates from oldest to newest. If you have a 2005 and up two-stage MTD snowblower, you can use either of the grade two shear pins shown on the right. Those are the pins that were designed to be used in that particular equipment, and those snowblowers would have been sold with those shear pins installed in it. Now moving on, if you have a three-stage MTD built snowblower that was manufactured between 2015 and 2018, you're gonna wanna use the newer number three headed shear pin, that's gonna be the 05273 in both the outer and the inner stage accelerator. Once again, those machines were not designed to use this stronger 06654 grade eight shear pin. Even though the 2015 to 2017 three-stage snowblowers would have been sold with the weaker grade two two-stage shear pins, you'll wanna swap them out and upgrade them to the stronger number three headed 05273 shear pins. And finally, as I showed you on the 2020 built Craftsman, if you have an MTD built three-stage snowblower that was built from 2019 and up to this current date at the time of this video, you are going to be using the 06654 grade eight shear pin on the central third stage accelerator fins, and you'll be using the 05273, what I believe to be the grade five shear pin with the number three on the head on the outer first stage auger fins. Again, guys, I'd love to run this hex-headed, stronger grade eight shear pin in my customer's third stage accelerator, but again, this is not my equipment, so I can't experiment on customer's equipment in good faith because they could end up hitting a chunk of ice and doing some serious damage. I've spoken to my rep, and he recommends not to use the stronger shear pin in these older three-stage snowblowers, and the simple answer is because they weren't designed to use them. All of the newer 2019 and up snowblowers have been designed to use this stronger third stage shear pin, so that's what you're supposed to use. Basically, I just wanted to do this video today to walk you through each of the four main shear pins that MTD uses in their two and three stage snowblowers and give you that date code list at the end so that you guys basically have a definitive list on which shear pin to use on each snowblower that comes into your shop. Well, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I know it went a little bit longer, but I tried to pack it full of as much technical information as I could. And a lot of you aren't going to have access to the information that I do because you don't have access to the MTD parts portal as a dealer like me would. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week. So be sure to stop on by next week, check channel up for new content. And as always guys, thanks for watching.